Well, welcome in 2022, and I've got a new video for you. I want to talk about life in an RV and what you might be able to get lucky enough to be able to do. You probably know that the number one expense in living in an RV is fuel. And I, by that I mean gasoline. You know, I mean, yeah, propane is up there. Trust me, in the winter, yeah, it's up there. But gasoline is the biggest expense. And the best way to keep that price down is to get someplace where you can stay for a while. Especially if you get lucky enough to manage an RV park like I'm doing. Where I don't have to move. I can stay in exactly the same spot year after year. And just head down the street here to the tire store, put new tires on it. Get the bearings repacked. Have the oil changed. Have the brakes looked at in about three years. Because I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I'm staying here. See this nice new shirt, right? This RV park shirt. I've got them in blue and white. So uh, I get to stay at this park. I don't have that expense anymore. Having a cup of uh, Kahlua, my ex, a special cup. Mm. It's... Uh, about three three thirty in the, well it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon. I've cut off of my hair for now because I never had get a chance to go to the barber shop until spring. And in spring we'll have about fifteen to twenty people here that are coming in off of the desert at La Posa South and they're going to stay in this park all summer long because they do stay in southern Arizona all summer long. So, uh, they're going to be here with us. And the only thing I have to collect from them is the initial rent for the entire period of time. And then their utility charge. There's not much going on here. You know, it's uh, getting close to the time for the powwow and for the big tent. And uh, the park has got, well, at least six people that I know of by name um, they're on a list of mine as to what their arrival dates are that I know about that are coming in I've already had people coming in so uh, the park's not going to get loaded that's not what we want we want to get a reputation a good reputation of taking care of our customers and having the right customers in here um, we'll do some other things that make it more of a resort, maybe like a, a dog wash, car wash, things like that, that we can add to a, possibly a pool table to go into the clubhouse. Um, we're working on things, you know, we're working on things. And this winter, we're not going to, or this summer, we won't have air conditioning in the clubhouse, but we'll have fans in the front and the back to blow air around. And uh, if you're not in there, too late in the day. It actually is pretty nice. Uh, I probably would be out of the office by 10 o'clock in the morning and not go in until about 8.30 or 9. But it doesn't take that long to do my office work. And then going around meeting, reading meters in the morning hours in this park when you only have 15 or 20 people is uh, less than an hour job. And I'm done for the day then at that point. So... I can do more things during the summer than I can during the winter. Winter, I'm always here. Example, I'm not in the office right now, but, you know, I'm only 200 feet from the office. And I've got the office door unlocked so I can get in there and take care of any business that I need to. But all of my paperwork is caught up to date. I don't have anything else really to do. So, just relax and... Spend some time on my computer. Uh, you want to empty the recycle bin from this drive? Yes. Um, yeah, 
just relaxing around here knowing that I'm not spending that money that I would normally be spending on the road and yeah during the summertime it's a little bit uncomfortable around here but if I do everything the way I'm supposed to do I'm going to get the air conditioning resurfaced serviced in the uh, Ford Escape so that I can drive around in air conditioned comfort and you know get my hair cut and go grocery shopping and do my laundry and everything else that I need to do within the town of Blythe because Blythe is only 25 miles from here and it would be crazy to go to Parker which is 45 to 50 miles from here just to say well I'm gonna you know make sure that the tax goes into Arizona only look I'm from California originally all right 53 years in California before I went to Oregon and if I pay money into the California system I'm uh, very happy to do it it's a highly socialized democracy so that part I'm very happy about and I've always been happy about that uh, what else can I tell you that's going on uh, I, of course I'm making friends you know make lots of new friends here uh, I'm not dating I have no intention of doing that my life is pretty simple the way that it is you know I get up in the morning and take my shower go to work I have breakfast and I eat lunch and I come home and I watch a little bit of Hulu and Amazon Prime primarily Hulu and uh, then I get ready to you know once I lock up everything here at the clubhouse and the showers at 10 o'clock I go in and get in my pajamas and go to bed and that's it until the next day when I get up uh, about 7 30 in the morning to go unlock everything it needs to be unlocked come back cool uh, get warmed up in bed relaxed for about a half an hour until i get up to take the shower again and, and i do this seven days a week i don't take the only days off that i take are holidays like i've had thanksgiving christmas and new year's and i'm not doing groundhog's day or president's day or anything silly like that the next holiday is uh Memorial Day. So I'll have Memorial Day, July 4th, uh, Labor Day, you know, holidays like that that I get off. I'm waiting here. Um, well, one of the reasons I'm still here is Arizona was supposed to have sent me the tags for this uh, escape out here that expired in November. They were supposed to send me the plate for uh, this RV which I bought in November. They're supposed to send me a driver's license, which my old one expires on the 15th in Oregon. So uh, I need that license. And they didn't send it to the PO box. I don't know where the hell they sent it. But they told me, well, that's not down there on the record. And I'm thinking, I showed you guys the right address. If you can't put down the right address, there is something wrong with you. So I'm waiting for another week for that to show up. And if it doesn't show up, then I file a formal complaint with them or with a legal counsel, and I will go after them at that point for money, for damages. I hate to do that, you know, but sometimes you have to, to get people to get off of their took us and do some work. Um, I can't think of anything else to say. I'm just very happy that I'm in one place. I have less expense per month, which means that I put money away every month for the things that I need, like the tires, the oil change, bearings, the brakes. That money's being built up, and I'm playing with the stock market while I'm at it. So I'm having a great time, a wonderful time today. The weather is great. Last week, it got down to 26 one night. And I went and turned on the shower at 8 o'clock in the morning and no water came out because the hose was frozen. So uh, it's just getting down into the 40s now and then it's up around 70 degrees every day. So this is the way Arizona is supposed to be. And it looks like it has returned to that. Sorry about those of you living in other parts of the country with really bad weather. I've been hearing all the horror stories. Uh, there's nothing we can really do about it here in Arizona other than to go, ah, there before the grace of God go I.
So uh, I'm glad to be here and all the other snowbirds that are here are happy to be here. There's about a million of us in this town right now, which only holds 3,000 normally. Um, so there's a million of us enjoying life and uh, enjoying the weather. And I wish you were here with us. And maybe someday you'll get there, right? Maybe someday you'll be able to venture out and come see us. I'm going to get back to whatever I was doing before I made this video. And y'all have a great day. Thanks so much for being a subscriber and for following me. Bye-bye.